Bean, a Stack, and a Boy Named Jack. Written by William Joyce. Illustrated by Kenny Callicut. Once upon a time, there was a smallish green bean, regular as they come. The last one, out of the pod. Did it look like a bean that could make a difference? Did it look like a bean of destiny? Hardly. But you know, things can happen. There was also a smallish kid with the smallish name of Jack. He had a smallish mom, a smallish dad, a smallish cow, and a smallish farm. That's about it. No great shakes. But like I said, things can happen. Or rather, they didn't. As in, it didn't rain for so long that the crops dried up and the wells dried up, and the rivers, and the lakes, and the moats, and the bird baths. So the people were thirsty. The fish were uncomfortable. The birds were unbathed. And the king's royal pinky had become stinky. I require that my pinky be made unstinky. Since there was no water to be had, Everyone in the kingdom had to cry in of tears so the king could wash his pinky. Now, this king's name was King Blah Blah Blah. And he had a daughter who was Princess Blah Blah Blah. And she was so embarrassed that her dad was making everyone in the entire kingdom cry that she went to the local old wizard guy and said, Please, 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 do something magical. The local old wizard guy did some reading and some thinking and some drawing and some mathing and some magicking. And you know, things started to happen. Hey, I'm a smallish magic bean, said the bean. Hey. I'm a smallish, regular kid, said Jack. Well, let's do something big, suggested the bean. Okay, replied Jack. I like your style, Jack. Back at ya, bean. All you need to do is dig a hole, put me in it, smooth the dirt, drip one drop of water, and repeat some magic words three times, said the bean. Let's give it a go. Wow, those are the magic words. So, a hole was dug, the bean was planted, the dirt was smoothed, a drip of water was dropped, and Jack said, Give it a go! Give it a go! Give it a go! Good luck, bean! Back at you, Jack! And things began to... happen. Keep going, bean! I think I see something! You got it, Jack! Interesting pipes, Bean. Giant pipes, Jack. Giant house, Bean. Big bubbles, Jack. Give me a little help, Bean. All right, a Rooney, Jack. The big bubbles were coming from a really big bathtub in which there sat, guess who? Hey, I'm a smallish giant kid named Dawn. Hey, I'm a smallish regular kid named Jack. So, Don? Yeah, Jack? Been in the tub long? Yeah, a long time. My pinky was stinky. Wow, that seems to be going around. Suddenly, there was a giant knock, knock, knock on the door. Don? Yeah, Mom? You've been in there forever! Gee, Don, I guess you gotta go. Yeah, but first, let me help you with the toe. It's funny what a big deal a little toe can be. You think, Jack? Trust me, Don. And Don, yeah, Jack? Maybe turn off the faucet? Good idea, Jack. And then, Jack told Don goodbye and rub a dub dub bed his way home. This trip was a bit draining, but then 
Jack found his old pal. Back at the castle, the local wizard guy announced with some satisfaction, Your Highness, may I present a beanstalk and a boy named Jack. And before the king could say, Hey there, hi there, ho there, his pinky was unstinky. What a day, said the old wizard. What a bean, said Jack. What a boy, said the bean. I'm thirsty, said the bean. I'm Princess Blah Blah Blah, said the princess. But you can call me Jill. Well, Jill, want to fetch a pail of water for my pal? asked Jack. Sounds fun, said Jill. And so, they did the end, sort of?